Hi everybody. Well, I've done a fair bit of talking on my last couple of videos, but I uh, just want to do a visual today. Again, for people who are looking to buy the VFR, looking at uh, just the little details in, um, in close-up. Let's see how it goes. Remember the bike's uh, 2012, so it's 12 year old now coming up, and it's got 38,000 miles on it. Nice chunky switch gear. Ignore that odd bolt there, it's under a cupboard in my garage somewhere, dropped it. Powerful and very chunky brake calipers. And on the other side you can see that extra hose for the combined brakes. You press the rear brake and it brings in a couple of pads at the front. Nice stainless steel down pipes, takes a bit of stick from the front wheel there but uh, they always come up nice very chunky draft shaft drive works a treat paint finish on wheels is superb but i still got a bit of tar on there from my last ride sorry about that but the finish on those wheels is lovely And the fronts are just the same. Lovely finish. Excellent panel gaps on that swoopy fairing. Just a bit of detail of the traction control switch or torque control as Honda call it. And those lovely fared in indicators into the rear view mirrors with the mirror glass, glass adjustable within the frame itself that just moves about and in typical VFR fashion fared in indicators at the rear I always like that view personally and not forgetting the dials which are a good mix of analog and digital Just a nod to my spinal tap, Mickey take, the five-way adjustable clutch lever. But the six-way adjustable brake lever. Chunky exhaust, love it or hate it, with the integrated exhaust flap in there. And to finish off that lovely slim line view that I, I really like. So there we go. Just some close-up pics. Just for those of you that uh, I've not had a chance to look at it in, uh, in close detail. Catch you again soon. Bye.